Hello and welcome, everyone. This is Kaylin's English podcast. This podcast is designed for English learners. I'm here to help you practice your listening skills. I'm Kaylin, a professional English teacher on Italki. How is everyone doing today? I hope everyone is great. Today's subject is family and hometown. Everyone has a family and a place they grew up. We are going to talk about my family and my hometown. This episode will allow you to hear some ways of describing things. I have been inspired to do this episode as I have finally seen most of my family after two years. I also have been in the place where I grew up. Let's start with my family. I come from a large family. I am the youngest of five children. My parents are still alive and have two grandsons. I have three brothers and one sister. Most of my siblings are married. I have two sister in laws and a brother in law. I am close with my siblings as we get along well. We have similar personalities and interests despite the age differences. All of my siblings have jobs in various fields, which include dentistry, marketing, purchasing, and IT. My father is retired, but he and my mother own their own business. Most of my siblings and my parents still live in my home state of Ohio. Most of my relatives live in Ohio. My mother has an extremely large family. She's the third oldest of 13 children. Twelve of them are married with children. My grandmother is still alive and is 93 years old. My grandfather passed away several years ago. My grandmother has 43 grandchildren and 45 great grandchildren. There are well over 100 people in my family. My family is so large that some of the great grandchildren are older than the grandchildren. My family is huge. My dad has many siblings as well. However, I do not know the exact number as my grandparents have died long ago. Thus, they do not often gather together. I know I have many cousins and some of them have their own children. My dad is still close with his siblings and they do know what is going on in each other's lives. I have already mentioned being from Ohio, but I have not talked about where in Ohio that I grew up. I grew up in a small village in the northeast side of Ohio. It is close to the cities of Akron and Cleveland. The village has one main street and only one stoplight in it. It is a really tiny place to be. It is quiet, but it is easy to get to places that have things to do, such as skiing, theaters, bowling, museums, shopping, and more. It is also close to state parks, which are places where you can be among nature, like in woods, or near bodies of water with waterfalls, or in caves. I enjoyed going kayaking and hiking as a child, as there are plenty of areas to do these activities nearby. I attended kindergarten, grade school, and high school in this village. I say grade school as I attended the same school for elementary and middle school. As this village is small, I had the same classmates for most of my education there. After high school, I went to university in a nearby city, but I still lived at home with my parents. While attending university, I met my husband. We have been together for over 13 years and married for almost nine. Shortly after graduating from university, my husband and I moved to England. We moved to a big city. I finally escaped the small town living environment. It was fun being in a new place and not being recognized by everyone living there. This new home had plenty of things to do, such as nice restaurants that served a variety of foods, museums, shopping, bowling, pubs, and more. Moving away from family and friends was a difficult thing, but we have gotten used to it. A few of our friends have since visited us in the UK, one of them a couple of times. Some of our family has visited us as well. My husband's parents have been here a few times, and one of my brothers as well. My sister and her family have been here once as well. We lived in our first city for nearly six years before moving to a small city. We still lived in England, but in a place that is much smaller. This city is about two hours from London and three hours from the city that we first moved to. Thus, we moved away from friends once again. A few of our friends have visited us in the new city, and we have returned there as well. We briefly moved to London for about a year and a half. It was awesome living in London until the lockdown started because of COVID-19. The pandemic shut down the entire country, and it made London feel like a small town as not many people were on the streets walking, there was less traffic, and less people on public transportation. 
It was neat experiencing London in such an unusual situation. However, it did get boring at times, as there was nothing to do since things were forced to close. London is the largest place that I have ever lived, and I doubt I will ever live somewhere bigger. What about your hometown? Is it small, medium, or large in size? Does it have a big population? Do you still live there? Do you have a large or small family? I am going to now wrap up this podcast with repeating some words and phrases from this episode. Village, small town, small town feel, relatives, siblings, in-laws, hometown, shut down, personalities, pandemic, unusual, public transportation, traffic, kayaking, hiking, state parks, caves, and boring. I hope you enjoyed listening about my family and my hometown. That is all I have for you today. I hope you enjoyed. If you'd like more content, then please subscribe to this podcast. You can also support me on Patreon. Find me by typing in Kaylin Teacher. On Patreon, you can gain early access to the podcast and transcriptions. Follow me on Twitter and Instagram at Kaylin underscore teacher. Thank you for listening. I hope you all have a great day. Until next time, bye!